Manville suffered a tough loss in the opening week of the playoffs, but it didn't take away from a great season. Our Chevy Spotlight found out how the Mavericks overcame an early season slump to bounce back and become 18-5A district champions. At Manville, head coach Chris Wilson preaches the five stages of playing basketball. Stages one through three have to do with being selfish on the court, only thinking of yourself and how you can succeed in the game of basketball and not the team. After a difficult and pretty successful beginning to the season, Wilson saw his team playing at a stage three level. In December, they had lost four of six games and were not looking like a district contender. Wilson challenged his players to dig deep and they responded. We knew they weren't gonna fold and we knew that basketball season is tough. Well, I tell my kids who have hills who have valleys, and we went into a valley, and I told them we got the dick our way out, and they fought, and they came together. After the Texas City game and the Shadow Creek game, I can see the team building themselves back up to a stage four, stage five concept, and that's where we're at right now, and that's where we want to stay. I feel like we just all had to focus in again and uh, get the task. We knew what we had to do. After finally locking in, the Mavericks won nine of their last 10 games and took the district title. They've succeeded despite having no bigs to dump the ball to in the paint. We won't play in the open court. You know, we have all guards. We don't have a post game. Uh, so we can't come down there and throw the ball inside and get tough points. So we won't spread out play in the open court. We won't play fast. What they do have is Kansas commit Jamari McDowell, a flashy combo guard that always steps up big when his teammates need him most. McDowell has been on varsity since he was a freshman and Coach Wilson knows he can trust Jamari to run the game plan to perfection. It feels good when you know you got somebody to go get buckets. I mean, every coach wants that. You know, every coach wants somebody to go get buckets. So he's, he's a high basketball IQ. He's like my coach on the court. So I think he knows the offense better than me most of the time. As a sophomore and junior, I definitely became more verbal, and I knew what we had to do in order for us to win, I would have to be verbal. And, know what I want from the team and what they want from me so it wasn't it wasn't crazy it was it was pretty easy actually it hasn't been an easy road but the Mavericks have learned to block out the outside noise and concentrate on playing as a team we know what we want to do it doesn't matter what they think what, we, what they think we can do what they think we can't do we know what, we, what our task is and what we have to do in order to get to our goal so we don't listen to the noise outside uh, we, we keep it in-house, and we just kind of fight together. The Chevy Spotlight is brought to you by the Houston-area Chevy dealers. Visit your nearest Chevy dealer and test drive our award-winning products.